Welcome to Pillar Talking Podcast. Welcome, welcome. It is me, with JT. And me, Nini. And this week we have a very royal episode. Yep. <laughs> um, um, if you guys have been anywhere in life, whether on social media, watching TV, you have seen this Oprah interview or seen something about yeah. the Oprah interview with Harry and Meghan. I think it was very shocking and eye opening, and very like so many different things involved in it, from yeah. racism to uh, marriage to shed a light on parenthood to mental mm-hmm. health. I mean, from media manipulation. I mean, it, this had to be the most. Uh, what's the word? I don't even it. It's one of those things that you hear and you like, is this real? Is this real? It it didn't seem real. It doesn't seem, one, it doesn't seem legal. Yes. It doesn't seem real. It doesn't seem, it it seems like some twisted, dark fantasy that, that that society made happy. It's like a movie. Yeah, it's like we, and you, we were so happy that she became a princess and that she was in the royal family and had to, you know, take on their customs and all that. But it's really crazy because we don't ever know what what the inside is like. And my thing is, I didn't, I'm going to be 100%. I didn't know anything about them or her race or her i didn't know because i'm not i've never been the one into relationships or uh what's the word like celebrity relationships marriages mm-hmm. i didn't know and i really didn't care and to this day i really still don't care but i care about them as people if that makes sense i don't care about all of the drama and stuff but them as people i do care about them as you know husband and wife with a kid i do care about that resonates with me um the family drama is for them to figure out. I hate that it has to play out like this publicly, but yeah. but anyway, um, let's just get into it. So Oprah sat down with Megan first, then mm-hmm. Harry came, and they told their story. They literally told because what had been happening, um, the British media mm-hmm. would twist every single anything. Like I'm talking about lies, y'all. Megan could eat a piece of food; they would turn it into something she could walk a certain they way they were always making her the the, the villain. enemy yeah the, the villain enemy. they were trying it got so bad to where she literally was like on the edge of suicide mm-hmm. which i believe me too was their intentions yeah. i think that was their goal to f- either force her to do something do something to herself yeah. or force her to literally to step out leave harry yeah but what Harry did and what I commend him for doing absolutely is taking his but wife his queen. and protecting them queen. from there any situation. Mm-hmm. And that's something that I pride myself on as a husband. I don't care. When, when I made a vow to Dominique, it wasn't to anybody but Dominique. My goal is to protect her from coworkers, friends, toxic relationships, like, I'm supposed to be like, okay, this is where I step in, and this is where I, okay, let's go. Let's disconnect from here because it's not healthy for you. Yeah. I don't, I, and, and it sounds crazy, but sometimes it might be, hey, you you and this family, this family member, y'all know. It's dead, yeah. And what he did to me was commendable. Like He it was. He, he made was a decision a, to, yeah. to risk his life for his mm-hmm. wife. Then, but he left without knowing if he could have security. Yep. Knowing people want to kill him, yeah. Knowing like knowing all of this, but anyway, let's just get right into the first clip. I want to talk about um, the part that really, when I really started paying attention, I'm gonna be a hundred percent. I was watching this documentary. He really only watched it because I had said. I really only watched it because my wife <laughs> wanted to watch it. Once again, I didn't know about the the Damn situation, together. so I didn't know it was this serious. Yeah. So this is when I got. Tied into it. This part right here. What? And who who is having that conversation with you? What? So, um... There is a conversation. Hold on, hold on. So There's literally, this is I was doing the same thing Oprah was doing with you. When with this Harry. happened about 
how dark your baby is going to be. Bruh, bruh, where's my music And what that would mean or look like. Ooh. Oh, that's the wrong one. Sorry. <laughs> oh, oops, sorry. I'm not going to tell them who had the conversation. <laughs> <That's okay. laughs> I think that would be very Bro, damaging to them. That was me. Like, that. That's when my head was like. I think that was every black person. I was like, oh, this for I think that was every color. Like, when you person. brought. It's one thing. That was ridiculous. To not like the child. It's one thing to. I mean, to not like Megan. Like, let's be real. All in laws don't like who the person's with. But it wasn't even his in laws. That was the thing. Like, it wasn't his grandma. He said that. Oh yeah, yeah, it wasn't. It was the. But uh, everybody think it is. It's right, not right. the it's queen. Not the, she not said queen, that. Yeah. It's not. She's but I'm just saying, queen. it's one thing for people to say stuff about, you know, you. Yeah. But it's a, a whole other thing to look at uh, the a child. unborn child yeah. and who start is your flesh too? Questions about yeah. how brown they will be. And well, the, their blood is running through. I don't know why that struck a nerve in me, but it's first off, sick. To be honest, and like I told Dominique. I didn't even know this lady was black at all. Yeah. Because, you know, she has very fair skin and um, she wears her hair straight right now. But mm -hmm. it, when they show, like, the pictures of her mom and I'm her like, little, you knew she She, was she really is yeah. black. Like, black mama, white daddy. I didn't know that. And I'm like, you guys are looking at her who can pass, almost pass as a white woman yeah. from a distance. Mm -hmm. Now, up close, you know, we know features, but yeah. up close, I mean, far away, you can, she can pass as a she white can. woman. And you guys are worried about how brown the baby. First of like all, do you, even, do you guys know how genetics work? Yeah, that's why I was like, did they think clearly they don't did, even know did how they think genetics the baby work. was gonna come out looking like me? Like, what did they think? I, and, I don't. And then my thing is, why would it be a problem yeah. if it did come out right. looking like me? Right. Like, why was that the 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 worry and the fear? That shouldn't even been a worry because that's your your blood, regardless. Man, like <laughs> I don't know why that struck a nerve in me, but it, it really did. Like it reminded it, me of back in the day. That's it, what it did. For it me. did. Like like you like you were talking about like, like how the the slaves and stuff they would do stuff with mm -hmm. slaves. Let's be real, they would rape slaves and yes. do all this stuff and. They were worried about the 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 skin complexion and you mm -hmm. know oh well if this fair skin like who the daddy who you know what I'm saying right that was an issue back then that was mm -hmm. a a real life thing and to yeah. to see it still happening in in the year of our Lord twenty it's twenty 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 one is 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 crazy like and I honestly I don't like they don't really they really don't know genetics because you can have two black people and have a fair skin child like right like our child our yeah, children our baby both of our kids is lighter are, than us are lighter than us yeah. like literally like like and really lighter than their like daddy. so i'm dark <laughs> i'm i'm darker skin now he is lighter than me more brown skin but our kids are what they would consider like light skin or yeah. even red like people call our son red yeah and we are the biological parents <laughs> yeah <laughs> and like so it's like i, I don't yeah, know how these people crazy it just goes to show you how deep-rooted racism is mm -hmm. that, and colorism and all of it like they were that afraid of like somebody he's a fourth come on but he would they were so afraid of a brown person representing uh-huh that's what it was royal, what are we gonna do about his color they were so <laughs> afraid of that that they you know were were asking Harry about uh -huh. his unborn son and thankfully Harry has stepped out into the world and wasn't just in that royal bubble you know he yeah. been in the world he yeah. been to different countries etc he's he's found love with other people of different races so that was think about I, if he was he even didn't do that and that he didn't care about that at first I'm gonna be real I didn't I didn't know who Harry was. Like I knew, oh, I no, saw I like people talking about like, um, you know, he had a black girl. But yeah. this dude, this dude is like commendable. Like he is. Like he literally is willing to get, sacrifice his life for his wife and child. And to me, you can't. That's the ultimate sacrifice for any man. Mm, but but and what's crazy is about Harry, he has always been the villain out of everybody in the family because he yeah. never chose to die by you know to live by the code yeah that code that that family had code, he did yeah. he did what he wanted because he saw that it messed his mom up and he was really close with his mom yeah i think that was the, i think a lot of people don't realize what that does to you as a child yeah, absolutely to have to walk behind a casket with your mom in, it, in front of the whole world yep. like i don't think 
I think your whole mindset changes about how mm-hmm. you view life, how you view people. Yeah. You know, and, you know, there's so many conspiracies about that. Mm-hmm. So no telling, you know, it, it, it's so, like, the whole thing is just like. From what I was gathering from the interview was that, and a lot of people say it, um, his mom was not happy. She right. was depressed. She was depressed. Now I'm not sure if if it, what happened as far as her dying her death, but but that's the same thing that he was saying he didn't want to yeah. see happen again with his wife. So yeah, that's what I'm saying. So something was up, basically, right. is what the, something happened, and it could have been avoided, is what he said. Right. So I'm so, glad he stepped up. So I I guess the the bigger the bigger points that you should take from it is, um, at, at first, like I said, let me say this too. I at first I didn't feel sympathy for Meg because I was like, oh man, you, you married these, you, you knew, married yeah. them, and you knew what was coming. You knew you were going to be, yeah. But after she, seeing the stuff that she went through, the, the stuff that was un, un, um, you know, wasn't even right. Like it just was unethical. It, 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 it was, it was uh, some was stuff just, was just inhumane too. Like don't saying. take my, pa- you can't take my, why are you taking my stuff? When she said they, they took her passport, her, her, into, her card. She was a prisoner. Yeah. She, she she said she didn't go anywhere for that, two months. It would be one thing if you just <laughs> went through like just you know the hate like yeah. typical you know fam in law hate like sometimes they just not go like you and that's that's life and yeah. that's life. But yeah. this was I feel strategic and yeah. Uh, and we're talking about the protection that she was supposed to get. Right. That was strategic of yeah. not protecting her they did and not so, protect this girl yeah they told they took a, they took away every everything she had access she, to she couldn't even she couldn't, go with her friends and she had no protection yeah. in exchange and to me i don't understand i i when i when she was talking i was like i don't know if i could have done it like she handled it because i Barely. went crazy yeah exactly like, and not Our not left. crazy like like <laughs> Not like I would have been like, I would have been fighting everybody. Like I would have been like, okay, forget all this. I'm done faking yeah. and no, smiling. It. No, it, it's it is. What, I'm telling what it everything. Is. Like <laughs> who 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 want these hands? Like which one of y'all British people <laughs> want these hands? Because now, but see, she had all with such grace and, she and was smiling and was crying in the dark and came out. That back is smiling. scary. And me, I'm not faking it. Like we go have yeah. to see about whatever. Okay, you know, let's let's see. About, it's and what's up? Like what's up? Yeah. Like so for her to go through that and have to maintain this this like regal and this like like this life aura, that wasn't really there. Man, like that's what I was like, I feel for her. Yeah. And like, especially when she said that she had the and everybody saw that picture of her in that black dress looking so good right. pregnant. And she said at that time that they both were going through. Yeah, and that um she had to go to that event, even though Harry told her he didn't think that she would. He she, she needed to go, she but she told to him know, that because she couldn't be left. alone. Yeah, she couldn't be left alone. She was a fear of doing something to herself. Right. Like that is scary. Like, and also let's be real, <laughs> and this is kind of a question: Do you think? Obviously, it's important to realize that you do, in essence, marry the family of the person you marry. Oh uh, yeah, I mean, but do you think it's okay to like marry somebody? And then, like, so, for example, let's just make a Mm -hmm. hypothetical. So, let's say you're a white woman, and I knew that your dad and your white dad and some of his family members did not like interracial relationships. Mm -hmm. But I married you anyway. Could I then say, man, like, they're treating me bad? Or should I say, I knew what I was getting into? Um, Okay. No, because in a sense, where does respect come from? You cannot like somebody. You know what I'm saying? You just said they it's not okay to act on it. Yeah, like okay, if you don't like somebody, okay, like if for instance, if I didn't like your mom, or quote unquote, like if I didn't like your mom, I'm not gonna literally be evil to her because I don't like. And her. that's and that's my thing. I'm not gonna I, do that. My thing is this, and that's why at first I had to kind of correct myself because I was like, man, she knew what she was getting into. Yeah. No, because she <laughs> might have knew like these people might not like me because of my but color. Nobody but, deserves yeah. to be berated, to be attacked, to be. To that's be stripped away from freedom, not like, liking like an animal, somebody, like, like that's up. not. I, it's certain yeah. people I don't like, or but I'm not gonna right. do stuff to them. Or I might put just, stuff out there about about them that's lying. Right, I might just try to sabotage them. them. If I don't yeah. like somebody, hey, how you doing? And that's it. I'm not go. Yeah, <laughs> like yeah, like so, why? <laughs> but I will say that. 
It's crazy. Two things from this interview not related to them. One, Oprah, as much as we have our ups and downs with her as far as as a black community, mm-hmm. she has to be respected as one of the best to ever do what she does. Right. Like, who else could just wake up and say, you know what, I'm going to interview Megan and have <laughs> Right. And do such a great job. Like, the question she yeah, asked. Yeah, it like, was very good. Was she embodied all, the question. So it, almost where Megan was like, wait, I didn't, I didn't do that. And she was right. getting mad at her. And she was like, right. I'm just and saying almost, what said. And like, to the point that <laughs> she probably got Meg to to talk about stuff that she never would talk about. Oh, yeah. Same thing with Harry. To say things and to really express themselves in yeah. a way they could No couldn't. lies. No, so just nothing imagine, was off limits. Come just on. imagine being locked up and unable to talk everything is no comment and for free and then you get to sit down with a professional like oprah it just goes to show you right. like it's levels to it and oprah is definitely made is it to at that the top level. the second yeah. thing i want to talk about tyler perry i, I want to talk about that too kudos this man here right he 